celebrate the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au Well, welcome back to our live stream here today at the Royal Adelaide Show. And boy, have we had a diverse morning, Dr. Mike Myers. I've been at the Woodshop Arena watching the tree felling. Then we've been in the Dairy Pavilion where we milked some cows. And uh, now you and I are in the Technology Pavilion. And when I asked you what we're going to talk about, you handed me this. That's not very impressive. No, it's not very impressive, but it's what we, the kids make out of it that's much more impressive. So what do they do with this? It's a light piece of wood. I'll grab you and show you. Uh, basically, piece of, uh, a, uh, get a piece of balsa wood and they machine it out and make it into a car. So they end up getting a car just like this. A mini Formula One car. Yes, and the rules are exactly the same as Formula One. Um, all of the things that they have to follow and create are the same. But the difference here is that the kids can go through from this competition to a national competition and to a world final where the prize is a scholarship to study engineering in London. So what have we got one or two competitors that do this? How many people do it? Oh, we have about 128,000 kids around Australia involved in it. So Amazing! It's a huge competition and it's very, very competitive. And the organisation that came up with this competition, what's the purpose? Uh, it's about getting students involved in uh, science, technology, engineering and maths. So really, when I started, there was a we didn't have enough kids taking up engineering, so the whole goal was to try and get people involved in engineering and uh, technology subjects. So. so does a judge come along and say, well, that one's the prettiest, so it wins, or how do we choose the winner? Uh, well, they have to race, and you'll see that in a second. Um, there's a team of engineering judges up in the Goida Pavilion that are judging the kids. The kids have to make verbal presentations, and they have to make... a. Uh, a whole set of uh, portfolios of their work, so explaining how they've made the car. So they're even doing some marketing of the technology. Marketing, yep. Which is a huge part of entrepreneur entrepreneurialism. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and a, a world final team in Adelaide is the current world champions. Raised sixty-five thousand dollars. The students raised sixty-five thousand dollars to go overseas. So right behind us is the actually the uh, world championship trophy. Oh wow! Look at that. Come on, Emily. Isn't that magnificent? So, hold on, are you telling me Adelaide has done quite well in the past? Uh, yes, Adelaide's twice uh, world champion, uh, twice second in the world. So they really, I think South Australia produces the best kids in the world. And irrespective of what other education departments say, the best kids I've found come from South Australia. What a wrap that is, smart kids in South Australia. Should we go and see a race? Do you think we can? We actually can show you. Oh, actually, so this is how we test it, right? I'll get out of your way. So, one of the things we have to do is... Uh, uh, make sure the aerodynamics is uh, as good as we possibly can. So one of the tools the kids use is to put in a smoke tunnel or wind tunnel and uh, analyse the performance of the car. And here they're trying to see where there's turbulence to slowing the car down. So they do an awful lot of work and it's basically final year engineering studies that they're doing at, at high school now. You're making me wish I'd been a bit more diligent in my science classes at school. Yeah, well, I think engineering is a lot of fun. And I think we're trying to make kids uh, feel that it's fun and get involved because we do create the world at the end of the day. So. The uh, Royal Adelaide Show is a lot about agriculture, our primary industries, but a huge part of primary industries today is, in fact, technology. Yeah, but I think the thing that um, comes from the, um, um, from the book being in the bush is that kids learn... Uh, to make and create and solve problems. And I think that's what we're seeing here in F1 in schools and why Australia leads the world in this kind of STEM technology. Because they know, they've learned from the bush how to fix a problem with a bit of barbed wire. So we're gonna go and talk to some kids. Well, these young gentlemen here are from St. Columba College. What are your names? Adam. Simon. Chris. Now you have developed one of these Formula One cars. Tell us, are you feeling pretty confident today? Yeah, I reckon we could do it. We, yeah. What was the focus when you were building your Formula One car? What advice did you have to make it more aerodynamic, make it faster? Uh, well, we had to finish it on time. And then um, uh, with the aerodynamic stuff, uh, we had to like not hollow it out underneath. But that took away some of the, um, uh, I forgot what it's called, like aerodynamic stuff. Some of the advantages, I like that. Hey, Christopher, can you tell me, have you done the end of this competition before or is it your first year? And if so, who, if so, who got you involved? 
Uh, this is our first year here, and the person who got us involved was our teacher, Mr. Sook. Well, a big shout out to our science teacher there. I'm just going to go and meet the opposition. One second. Okay, who are the gentlemen who uh, are in charge of this Formula One vehicle? Is this yours? Uh, no. All right, hold on. Hello, boys. What school are we representing? Oh, Charles Campbell College. Now, what's your name? Harry. Kashan. Raghav. Okay, so you need to tell me. This is your black vehicle here, correct? No, the purple. The purple one. You're on the wrong side. Now, first of all, critical question: Why did we go with purple? Um, because it like kind of represents our team color, our poster and logo. Everything is like themed purple and yeah. or blue. So big focus on marketing here. Tell me a bit more about the structural decisions that you made here. Was there anything particular that you did in the design? No. I love the love the long-worded answer. Um, now, are we feeling pretty good today about our purple machine? Yeah, I'm just a little bit nervous. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous for you too. Okay, I was going to go for the other eyes. Let's go for you. All right, let's get this race on a roll. So we're going to race here. You guys set up to go. Ready? Who's on this side? Who's on this side? We've got two uh, uh, cars here ready to race, and what will happen? There will be five lights will come on here, just like Formula One. And when the lights go out, the cars will shoot off. Now these cars are doing 20 metres in about 1.4 seconds. At the world final, it gets down to less than a second for the same distance. So they get quite fast. Why don't you guys come around here quick? So we're just setting up. We're moving to reaction racing rather than automatic racing. All right, we are getting ready for our In Schools Australia F1 racing. It's Charles Campbell College versus St. Columba College. It's purple versus black here. And this race will be over in how much time? 1.5 seconds. So uh, blink and you'll miss it, quite literally. All right, yeah, all right. Our starter has the marker gun. Yeah. The five lights will come on, we're up to four, five. Now there's a random delay and then I'll fire off. Sometimes. Whoa! And there we have it's over. Do we have a winner? Uh, yes, the lane 2-1. They got a, a reaction time of 0.233 seconds and a speed of 1.433 seconds down the track. So our winners here today are the boys from St. Columba College. Show us some enthusiasm, boys. Nice work. <laughs> oh, what a wonderful competition. So tell me, how do we decide who the champion is locally here? Uh, there are a number of things. There's only racing that's involved. in That's the sheep station stuff. Uh, then there's engineering judging, portfolio judging, verbal presentations, and it's an aggregate of all of those scores. And the winners from here at, at two divisions, professional and development class, go through to the national final, which is being held at the Grand Prix in Melbourne. So the students will get to meet all the drivers and uh, get a tour of the pits and meet everybody in the F1 fraternity. And if they do well then, they'll go to the world final. And in uh, December, we're taking four teams to Abu Dhabi to compete this year to compete in the world final again. So oh, this just sounds like a wonderful competition. Congratulations on everything that you guys do to pull this together because it's a brilliant initiative and a lot of fun at the show this year. We're um, heading off for just a moment to have a bit of afternoon tea, some scones with the ladies at the Country Women's Association. I hope you're enjoying your day on a Monday. Shame you can't be here with us at the show, but we hope to see you later at the week in the week here at the Royal Adelaide Show. See you shortly with the ladies from the CWA.
celebrate the state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au Now, if you ask people to describe the taste of the Royal Adelaide Show, many will say, for many generations, that it is indeed the Country Women's Association scones. So we thought we'd better show you how those scones come to be at the show. Now, I'm very fortunate to be here with Evelyn, who is a member of a CWA branch in Two Worlds, and Rosalind, who is indeed the CWA president for the state, but is from a branch in On Air Peninsula called Dark Peak. I'm curious, how many of these scones will be consumed throughout the show? Each day during the show, our baker bakes 1,200 scones. 1,200 scones. And we use most of those each night. And sometimes I wander past here and I think I'd really like a scone, but the queues go for days. It's so popular. That's right. Should we go for a wander and see how they're made? We will. We can do that. Okay, come with us. I thought I'd better fit in, so I've done the old hairnet and the uh, apron. Okay, so this lovely lady here, what's your name? Sally. Sally, Sally tell us what you're doing here, please. I'm making scones at the moment. Um, this would be our 50th batch today, and um, we'll end up with about 1,100, 1,150 scones for the day. Now, do you make scones at home, or do you just do it once a year and then you're done? I make bricks at home. <laughs> you make bricks at I home? I make bricks at home, but I can do it beautifully here. Now, we've got to face this camera and say hi so we can see your lovely family. Now, uh, tell me, how does this differ to making bricks? Uh, very easy. <laughs> Very easy. Well, you've got a smile on your face, so we'll let you keep doing what you're doing here. Make our way down the line. This is what a delicious, nearly finished product looks like. Young lady, what is your name? June. June, which branch are you part of? Happy Valley. Happy Valley. It sounds like a delightful place. I've not been there myself. Now, what is your responsibility here today? Uh, just putting the scones onto the plate and wrapping them with the plastic and then putting them on trays and then they just disappear with them on me. I love that. They just go, they, as quick as they land with you, they're off again. All right, come on. We're going to keep wandering through your kitchen. Lovely to chat to you. Okay. So, Rosalind, tell me what happens after the scones are in that state that they're in right now? The trolley brings them over here to the dumb waiter and they go downstairs to be sold to all those waiting customers in that of yours. You should never call anyone a dumb waiter. What are we no, looking well, at? No, well, it is. That's the dumb waiter. He doesn't talk to us. <laughs> So here they are ready to go down, so somebody will bring the dumb waiter up, we have to wind it, and then we put the scones on and we wind it back down. Are we allowed to have a go now? Or are we going to ruin the system for the day? Evelyn, you can do this, you're in charge. We need a license. I think I can de-robe now. We might not be able to get the dumb waiter working, but it's a good efficient system otherwise. Oh, it doesn't matter. Let's go on. <laughs> I'll show you now. In this area over here, you'll see that indeed we do more than scones at the CWA. In fact, fresh salads are made, eggs are boiled here, we take the shells off them, we make up some lovely fresh foods for the day. So scones aren't the only dish oh, no, of the day. No, no. We have um, cold serves, salads, sweets, uh, you know, apple crumble and trifle and show jellies, you know, the, the stripy ones, and of course we have our scones, but yeah, there's all sorts of things here, and a hot evening meal. A hot evening meal, I think I'll be back for that tonight. Tonight is uh, corned beef. Love a bit of corned beef. Now, this is the plating section. This is the MasterChef region. Where you get your jam and your cream to go with those scones that you can buy from downstairs. So, it's, uh... Rosalind, I can see that there's a couple of... Uh scones ready to go here. Do you think we're allowed to steal one? I think you might be able to, yeah. Will you have one with me? Oh, probably have Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Come on over. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Mm -hmm. mm. 
just delicious. Now, the CWA is known for a whole range of things. They are the organisation that the government goes to to do drought funding dispersals. They're also the organisation that upholds much of the cookery and craft uh, competitions around the state and around the nation. And I'll tell you what, there is no finer organisation when it comes to making these scones. Just beautiful ladies. Congratulations on everything you do. And here's to the many thousands of scones you sell during the Royal Adelaide Show. The state. The people. The magic. The memories. The bright lights and the high rides. The sparkling eyes. Over two full weekends. The Royal Adelaide Show. The show of a lifetime. Free purchase tickets and save. Theshow.com.au